Dear student children, today we have with us Ms. Tejaswini who secured All India Rank 3 in Engineering Service Exam 2022 with Electronics and Telecommunication. We are happy to say that Tejaswini is our classroom coaching student of Engineering Services batch at Abits Hyderabad in 2019. Now let us have an interaction with uh, Tejaswini about her success secrets. Congratulations Tejaswini. So <laughs> Briefly about yourself. Sir, uh, I have graduated from IIIT Hyderabad in electronics department, sir. Mm. Post that I have worked for two years in mm. a uh, telecom organization. Mm. And in 2018, I have resigned from there okay. to prepare for engineering services exam. Mm. So after giving two attempts, mm. um, the second attempt I missed by 13 marks, sir. Okay. So post that I have uh, started working again in the same organization. Mm. And 2022 was my third attempt, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay, what was the preparation strategy for prelims exam? Means uh, which topics of the general studies you focused out of the 10 topics? Sir, uh, I did not uh, leave any of the topics, sir. I okay. prepared for all the topics. Including current affairs? Yes, sir, but I would say weightage was less. If oh. Even if we focus a lot on that, uh, mm -hmm. it's cost versus benefit analysis if we do, yeah. I think current affairs comes a bit lower in the rank. Okay. So, I prepared for all the topics uh -huh. and uh, after the class notes, I have uh, gone through all the mock tests, online mock tests mm. and uh, from the from each of the mock tests, I used to prepare a folder with each subject mm. where I picked few questions mm. if, if the concept was important or if there is a mistake that I have to note it down mm. and uh, if there is an important concept covered. So, such questions I picked out from each of the online test series that I gave. Mm. And towards the end, I had a folder uh, for each subject with 50 to 60 questions. Mm. So, towards the end, like before the exam, one or two months before the exam, mm. I used to uh, just go through the class notes, marked points, mm. and revise these questions. Okay. And uh, coming to uh, GS, it's not, it seems like the syllabus is unlimited. Uh. So, the test series helped me a lot. So, whenever there was a topic which I wasn't aware, Mm. So, I used to go back and just Google the topic. Achha. Near and there, so I used to note yeah, down the topic. How many marks you secured in the general studies paper? 91. So 91. Very good. Coming to the technical paper, prelims, how many marks you secured? 170, sir. 170 plus. Okay. So, what was the preparation strategy? Because there will be 150 questions of 300 marks and 3 hours duration. What was your strategy for preparation? Sir, uh, technical part, uh, I, I will tell that short notes helped me a lot. Okay. Uh, in my second attempt at the beginning of the preparation, I, I tried to make uh, short notes for most of the subjects, leaving mm. two to three subjects. Mm. So once I go through the class notes, mm. I made eight to ten pages of the short notes. Mm. And, per uh, subject? Per subject, uh -huh. yes. And then after the subject is done, I used to go back and uh, do the subject-wise online test series. Okay. So, from then again, uh, uh, I used to make a folder with important questions or uh, where I did calculation mistakes or sir, any silly mistake like where I missed out reading a part of the question. Okay. So, those I used to make, this I used to call it as marked questions. Mm -hmm. So, towards the end again, I had all these folders and revised more of these questions before the exam. How many questions uh, you could attempt uh, in the exam hall, technical paper prelims? Sir, 80% uh, of the questions I was able to attempt. So. Because uh, it's it's a balance of accuracy and uh, speed. Speed and accuracy. Speed and accuracy. Okay. Yes. So coming to the mains, uh, uh, what was your preparation strategy? Keeping in you the QCAB, QCAB. Sir, in my second attempt, mains was the lagging part on mm. my side. So this time I focused more on mains. Mm. Apart from the class notes, I religiously did almost every online mock test. Mm. So every week I used to give the test in mm. the QCAB format itself. I used to take a printout and practice in the uh -huh. uh, QCAB format and upload the uh, test. Okay. So that way I got a practice of the QCAB first thing uh -huh. and attempt was a main problem from my end. Uh -huh. So to increase that, uh, I think practice was what helped me. Practice, practice, practice. Yes. Okay. How many marks you got in the mains paper one, paper two? So, 178 in paper 1 and uh -huh. 179 in paper 2. Okay. So, after mains is over, are you confident of uh, getting personal interview? Yes, sir. Even last time, I was confident, but 
I did a blunder there in the second attempt. Mm. So I made a question selection wrong. Because of that, I was not able to attempt a 20 marks question. Mm. And that proved to be costly. Mm. I missed the list by 13 marks. Achha. So okay, this time okay. I covered it up. Okay. So coming to the interview, uh, what was your preparation strategy? Sir, I gave uh, at least four to five uh, mock interviews, sir. Mm. That will help you uh, understand what are the topics where you are lagging. Mm. Because uh, from the questions asked in the mock interviews itself, we will know what are the gray areas. Okay. So from each of the topic, uh, what are the applications part that I have to go through? Mm. And uh, what are the current affairs? So even if I was not able to answer like four to five questions in a row, mm. we shouldn't panic. So that is what I learned and I, I was able to practice in the mock interviews. And How many marks you got in the interview this time? 120, sir. Any questions on current affairs? Yes, sir. So, uh, I was asked what is the state of uh, electronics and telecom currently in India. It uh, means related to your domain. Yes. Sir. Current affairs related to the domain knowledge. Yes, Correct. Uh, whether they ask any questions on the work or company in which you are working right now. Purely technical was, I would say, 60%. The rest was from my job profile. Questions like, uh, what is your company doing differently compared to the, their competitors in the market? So the other questions were related to my, mostly my work. And also on the DAF, also questions were asked. Asked. Yes. Any questions on hobbies? Not specifically hobbies, but extracurricular activities, Extra whatever curricular I activities. mentioned. Yes. Achha. Whatever you mentioned in the DAF. In the DAF, yes. Sir. Okay. So after the interview is over, you were confident? Uh, <laughs> given that I missed by 13 marks last Did time, I, was, I, didn't ha I did not think about it. I was like, don't be attached to the result, let's see. Okay. So I was confident about the efforts this time. So what so was, was the reaction after getting the third rank? <laughs> I was surprised and happy at the happy. same time. Yes, sir. Happy. So what is your suggestion to the juniors? So you might see 10 different interviews or read uh, 10 different things or stories on Quora but you are the best judge for yourself so you have to choose what works best for you and I would say UPSC is not just an exam it will test your patience and a lot more so be disciplined and focus more on the process be so involved in the process and at the end I, I think you will be surprised yes <laughs> good luck so stu every student has got his its own uh, style so he should go through various uh, toppers messages and he should come up with his own strategy. Yes, sir. Is what you have to learn from the mistakes of others. Yes. Yeah. So what the Ajayasuni says briefly, uh, identifying the mistakes, working on the mistakes, preparing the short notes, selection of questions in the exam hall, not only in the mains, I think it plays a crucial role even in the prelims objective paper also. And in the interview, what she experienced mostly questions on the subject, domain and the place of work. That's all. Okay, I have consolidated everything. Okay, congratulations Tejasin once again. So, namaste to our pranams to your parents. Huh? Yes, sir, thank sir. you once again. Huh? God Thank bless you. you. Thank okay. you so much sir. Thank you for having me here. Thank you so much. Namaste sir.